The presence of God, Psalm 16, verse 6 through 8. The lines of my boundary have fallen in pleasant places. Surely my inheritance is delightful. I will bless the Lord who counsels me even at night. My conscience instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Hallelujah. I wanted to come on here to share an update on what had happened on Friday morning at my final divorce hearing. Um, many of you, my precious brothers and sisters in Christ, have been walking with me through this um, these few years of marital storms in my life since um, the winter of 2016, 2017. They were the most painful years um, of my adult Christian life. And um, it has come to a closure this past Friday. And um, Many of you have been messaging me, emailing me, um, blessing me, praying over me, my family, our marriage, um, just continually lifting me up and praying for us these years. And you know who you are, and I greatly, greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And I also lift you up, you and your family, and pray for blessings upon you guys as well. Um, many of you have been messaging me, texting me, and um, uh, emailing me uh, about the outcome of what happened Friday. So instead of responding individually to everybody, which I cannot, um, I felt impressed to make this video and to share the outcome and give God all the glory and praise. So, hello there. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I pray that you are highly blessed and favored of the Lord wherever you are right now. So, um, as I shared last week, April 18th, 2022, I uploaded a video and also uh, read a devotional that the Lord spoke through Dr. June Sheltron Rank on how the Lord was healing uh, our broken heart and um, healing those deep soul wounds from traumas and um, that very night um, April 18th um, just four days before my final divorce hearing um, God showed me in the dreams vividly that um, I was with my former husband and um, I was travailing in deep deep pain just gut-wrenching pain um if you've been through you know any types of uh betrayals from somebody that you love you know what type of pain that is so in the dream i was just travailing just weeping and mourning and hurting so deeply and i saw his face he was there in the dream and then the lord told me in my spirit that um my season of mourning and weeping travailing um because of the traumas of betrayal is over, that he was uh, bringing closure and he was making me whole, my mind, my emotions, my soul, he was making me whole and um, he would bring me into a new season. He's doing a new thing out of weeping, mourning, grieving, trauma into a new season of dancing, rejoicing and recompense. So, um, that has happened um we went to the final hearing uh april 22nd four days later after the dream and um during um the um time of testimony and speaking um the to the judge and you know answering all the questions that the attorney and the judge asked my heart was just pounding out of my chest I was so surprised that I had 
that reaction and I was big my t my eyes were welling up with tears and tears was just flowing deep pain of hurt I can't even describe I can't even describe it just it was just overflowing out of me that I did not anticipate and I was like thinking to myself no no I have no tissues I should not be crying it should not be hurting you know why am I hurting why am I crying I was looking around in my purse looking for tissues because my tears were just uncontrollable I didn't make noise but my attorney could sense and see that I was crying but um and then the Lord brought to remembrance that um, I showed you in the dream four nights ago that I'm bringing healing wholeness restoration closure and this is going to be the last time you're going to be weeping over this trauma so um, that's what happened I could barely speak loud enough and clearly enough the judge had to ask me kindly the judge was a very awesome woman she um i could tell you know she had grace wisdom she was awesome full of compassion and insight and she kindly asked me to please speak up so that the recorder could pick up everything my answers anyways um when I did go up to the stand um, to answer questions, um, you know, I was still like broken and um, feeling the pain of everything. Um, and I accidentally looked up at my former husband and um, I saw that he was on his phone texting and I saw that he was, you know, like smiling, like he had a smirk on his face. And, uh, and I'm in the midst of a deep, deep pain. And I thought to myself, it was like, it was like confirmation that um, God was freeing me. God was liberating me, setting me free from that abusive relationship, unequally yoked, abusive, painful relationship that indeed it was closure, like, that was a part of the confirmation of the closure and the healing, the, re the restoration that God was doing in my life. And, um, you know, before court began, um, you know, I did walk up to him and spoke with him, smile, you know, just, I mean, just, I had freedom, I had peace and, you know, told him, hey, I, I made some fresh beef jerky and because he loves my fresh beef jerky. I used to make it a lot. And Ethan had pleaded with me to make some fresh beef jerky uh, Thursday, no, Wednesday night. Yeah, Wednesday night. And so uh, after football practice, um, we stopped in at Publix and um, I picked up a pack of London broil and came home and marinated the beef and then made the jerky. Uh, overnight while we were sleeping before we left for our trip Thursday morning so I divided uh, the jerky into four bags um, one for his dad because he loves the jerky and the rest for Ethan and us as we were traveling so anyways um, before court I went up to him I was just smiling you know and I was just like hey I have some fresh jerky if you would like some it's in my car uh, so after court you can have it if you want to take it with you you know as you're traveling he's like sure so um you know after court after we were dismissed um of course there was no uh no fights um uh, on his part just everything that um my attorney um and the law required he agreed to and i didn't press um i didn't press for anything really um you know even though the law uh, require I mean allows me to ask for a certain amount of alimony for you know being married um, for almost 13 years um, legally um, but I did not ask for much I just um, asked for a third so why um, I'm, my heart is not out to get anybody because God is my provider and my attorney is a, a very awesome man he was also in the military he, he was also a 
uh, a military attorney, worked with military judges. He was a man of wisdom and grace, walked me through the whole thing these last um, 14 months. Just, uh, I couldn't ask for a better attorney. I could not ask for a better judge. There was no fight. Um, you know, everything that, uh, you know, that's allotted for me was within the law, the boundaries, the parameter of the law. So um, it went smoothly, um, other than me falling apart and just weeping my last tears um, in court. Um, so it is finished. We have closure and we are moving on to the new seasons in our lives. And I just wanted to share this also to encourage you that our God is so faithful. He's omnipotent, all-powerful. There is nothing that he can't do. He's omniscient. He's all-knowing. He knows every little bits and pieces of our hearts, minds. Um, he, he knows our needs before we even need it, before, even, before we even know what to ask for. Because I did not ask for God to uh, heal me, restore me, because um, I didn't even know that I was needing the depth of restoration and wholeness. Um, I thought I was fine. I thought I was okay. I and mean, if you know me, you know I'm not sitting at home weeping. Um, I'm living my life and um, I'm full of the zeal and joy of the Holy Spirit, full of faith. And I'm on fire for God. That doesn't mean that I don't have my moments here where I just feel utterly lost, lonely, and wondering what's going to happen. You know, uh, I do have those moments. But for the most part, if you know me, I am not you know, um, you know, devastated and I have my moments, let's put it that way. Um, so I had no idea that, that God was showing me that I was needing that complete wholeness, redemption, restoration, and closure. And he's brought that into my life and he's shown it and confirmed it in dreams and also through Dr. June Sheltron Reich and other people. If you, if you are in the prophetic, you know that that's what God is doing in this season. He is restoring healing his brokenhearted, wounded uh, children. And he's bringing us into a new season of dancing and rejoicing and recompense. Amen. Because... As long as we are trusting and abiding, obeying the Lord and loving the Lord with all of our heart, mind, body, strength, and soul, it doesn't mean we're perfect. Um, it just means that in our weaknesses and flaw, we continually set our God, His words before us. We put our hope and trust and we cling to the promises of our God and we cling to his hands and we do not let him go. Amen. And we put no idols, no other relationship, money or anything else um, above him because he is our all in all. He is our deliverer, our strength. He is our purpose, our passion, our very um, a reason for existing and living we move and have our beings and breathe in him he is our father and we are his offspring amen so um there isn't anything that um anyone can rob from us take away from us the thief has to pay back seven folds when he is caught hallelujah and God will restore to us everything that the thief has stolen whether it's a relationship health finances you know that doesn't mean that we just sit on our buns and do nothing you know we need to continually um, seek the heart of god through his word through prayers and do what's necessary to take care of ourselves our temple our bodies our mind our emotion take care of the temple of the living god our our being amen hallelujah and the things that we can't do he will put the supernatural on it. He is faithful. So our God is an omnipresent God. He's always with us. Last but not least, I wanted to um, 
um, just share these scriptures to um, encourage you. Psalm 30, verse 11 through 2, the Amplified Version. It says, You have turned my mourning into dancing for me. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Hallelujah. That my soul may sing praise to you and not be silent. O oh Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Hallelujah. Behold, he is doing a new thing in my life and in your life. Amen. If you just put your hope and trust in him, continually fix your eyes, your heart on his words, his promises. Cling to our king. Amen. Abide, remain, obey his word and love him with all of your heart and love others. Amen. Uh, God will restore. God will fill all of our needs. His sheep hears his voice. So if you need to hear something from the Lord, just ask him. Say, Father, I need to hear your voice. I like to anoint myself um, before bed. Um, my mind, my thoughts, to have the thoughts of Christ, the mind of Christ. My heart, so that I would have the tender heart of a child to receive the things of God. My hands, my feet, so that I would be productive and busy about my father's business and other businesses that he gives to me to tend to and um you know my ear so i could hear his voice god is always speaking to us his little lamb his sons and daughters especially those of us that are crying out to him and seeking him for wisdom amen so i just encourage you to lean upon him and just ask him Ask him to talk to you. He'll speak to you. He'll show you. Hallelujah. I love you guys. May he continually bless you with his presence. May he open up your ears to hear his voice, your heart to receive him with faith as a child, and I selves to see into the new, beautiful, amazing things that God is doing in your life. Hallelujah. And may weeping, mourning, and grief die come to an end in your life in jesus name today i love you guys be blessed in the lord give him praise glory and honor he is worthy he is faithful and he is true hallelujah <laughs> love watching all these birds flying they're so free and he wants us to be free and soar up high with him in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.